adventurers. It's Phil. Uh, I have a cold this week. Uh, but also, it was recently just my birthday yesterday. For my birthday, I got myself one of these super awesome slingshots. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm actually somewhat accurate with it. Not really, but it's cool because it has a little arm bar that goes over your arm. It has a really good tension, whatever. And it also folds up for transport. So I thought this would be really nice to have for camping in case you know we're able to like stun some squirrels or something like that. I don't know. I've never used one before, so I thought it might be kind of fun. See if there is any hunting to be done with it. I would love to see some videos on that if any of our subs have ever used one of these and successfully uh, killed small game with it. Uh, that would be awesome. But basically what I don't like is the fact that it comes with a plastic handle. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how I remove the plastic from this thing and using just a common stick like this one, I'm going to make a new handle that will hopefully be a lot sturdier and also just look a little bit cooler. Alright, so I jumped ahead a couple steps. As you can see, I've already taken apart the slingshot with the top piece and the arm support. Okay, and exactly as I suspected, there was no connection between the two and the plastic is just kind of thin, kind of, I mean it's decent, but you know, it probably won't hold up at all. I took out the three screws that were in the back, here, here, and here, and I figured out that these two screws not only hold this top part in, but they also hold it down, and they hold it in place, and the bottom screw is just for support to hold the arm brace in, which didn't really do a whole heck of a lot. So, uh, what I did was taking this design, I basically modified it to my sticks, or my stick, sorry, because it used to be one, but it was one, one solid stick, okay? And what I did was I actually cut it in half, and I kind of well whittled out these notches here uh, using my hunting knife. I cut out a little bar there. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. I cut out a little notch here for the bar of the arm support to go across. And I also cut out notches at the bottom of both of these so that the arm support can still swivel. Um, I decided not to cut the notches all the way up the side because it would be cool to be able to completely collapse the bow, but I'm nervous that the wood won't be strong enough if I did that. So instead, I'm gonna make it so that while you're using the bow, the bow, yeah, right. While you're using the slingshot, the arm piece will stick back like this, and then during travel, it'll just lay flat instead of folding all the way up so it won't be as compact technically but then again it's not you know it's not gonna affect a whole lot more I had a weak spot on the wood here that I decided to fix with a little bit of wood glue it's not gonna be a load bearing part it's mostly just for aesthetics I just didn't want it to have a crack so I glued it and I'm waiting for that to set under the duct tape and I've pre-drilled my holes for my screws because uh, I didn't want to split the wood. So I want to be able to go ahead and, and put my screws straight through and have them hold really well. I'm going to go ahead and get to work on these. I'm going to sand them down a little bit more, get rid of the marks that I left on there. Also, I'm probably going to stain them and then I'm going to assemble the whole thing and uh, polyurethane it. So. Alright, Florida Adventurers, so there you have it. This is the finished product. As you can see, the stick turned out pretty good. I've got four screws back here for support. There's one more screw than it originally had. This holds the bottom together. This one here holds the front so that when you're uh, pushing it against your wrist, it keeps it nice and tight right here instead of causing the plastic to bend or break like the original would have. And these top two hold the fork in place. This one holds the bottom of the fork in place so that it can't move up and down. This one holds the whole thing in and keeps the top nice and tight. So all in all, it looks pretty good. It stays pretty loose right here because you want it to be able to move just a little bit uh, to give you some ability to pack it up even though it doesn't fold all the way up anymore. It at least folds down and then when you're ready to use 
and you just pull it up and the arm brace keeps the slingshot nice and tight in your hand so that you can go ahead and pull back and release your ammo. So.